I'm with the hooters, they clutching the stride. She hit my phone and she like, where you at? She let me fuck cause I know what I'm doing. Pass me the rock and you know I'ma shoot every time that I'm woke and I gotta look back. They ain't no fit again like I used to. She tryna slide, let me beat up the cat, but I ain't not coughing no bitch, I ain't freaking. I'm off the liquor, I'm feeling wild. I'm moving hot, got the gun in the sky. I cannot dance, I'm throwing knots, so they touching on me. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Lil Man DC, aka Big Man DC. Today we here with, with Big Man DC. I'm Big Man DC. I'm this. All right, if you if you want to be big, this this, this I guess little I'm, one. I'm little one. All right, all right, but tell them what we doing today. We eating food. <laughs> but tell them what's the point of the video. Oh, okay. He's supposed to be asking me questions. Um, he asked me, "Can Dad can I record me asking you questions?" I said. I don't care. Oh! Sure. So, so we're gonna have a moment to bond. I'm gonna just ask him some questions that you normally would ask your dad, or not even that, or just some, some stuff that some kids would be scared to ask. And we're gonna ask some advice, you know? We're gonna, we're gonna just pick his brain, fall in some moment, just typical bonding. So, so let's question. get into this video. You ready? Yeah. So, what's your opinion on, um, like, when do you think that somebody should, like, start moving out of the house? Like, like... What, what age? Yeah, what age should you start getting... Between, I, I would say about 18 to 21. 18 to 21? 18 to 20. You're 17, so you got, like, one more year. And, you know, <laughs> about 18 to 21. Yeah, if it was up to me, I would be gone, like, right now. Yeah. It's up to me, too. I wouldn't, I wouldn't stop you. I might just run away tomorrow. Okay. Next. <laughs> okay. So tell me, when did you get your first kiss? Mm -hmm. I think junior high school. Really? Mm-hmm. That early? Mm-hmm. Um, junior high school, I was um like, like it wasn't like a real kiss or like it wasn't like. Hmm. It wasn't like with tongue in it. Like I think at, at that time I thought you know, French kiss was nasty, so it wasn't. It was yeah. just like mm, yeah, mm, yeah. like that. That's that, that's what you have to say. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Bet. So, what's your opinion on like, like smoking and like drinking and like all that kind of stuff? At what age? Like teenagers. Or even, and how does it translate well, to being an adult? Well, first of all, I never smoked. I don't smoke yeah. now, right? right? Yeah. Um, I didn't drink until I, I got older, mm -hmm. and and probably like my mid twenties. Um, I just wasn't, I just wasn't the one that was a follower. So mm -hmm. when people started smoking cigarettes and doing things that we seen our peers doing I, I decided to go left mm -hmm. so uh, me I, I think most of the people that smoke weed and started drinking um, became addicts or became put it like this um, not productive so but some had it's, 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 it's some that has became successful but it kind of still held them back because they, you know, I don't know. I just, so, so you think that from your experience that that drugs and alcohol has a worse, worse, um, what word can I say? It, it does worse than more than it could do better. Right, absolutely. I agree 100%. Yeah, okay. I, I agree with that. You know, I, I definitely agree with that. So, um, Mouth. so how did you avoid doing it? Like, Told you. I wanted to do something different. I didn't want to do every. I didn't want to follow and do everything that the popular kids were doing or mm -hmm. kids that people thought was cool. I wanted. To, I wanted to do what I wanted to do. Thanks. I feel you. So, um, what do you? How do you feel about like tattoos? Can I? Can I get a face tat? Well, if you get a face tat, right? You gotta think about. If, where you gonna work at, right? Mm. Most people that got face tat, face tattoos, mm. are extremely successful, right? Mm. So they're not gonna work or never corporate job or nine to five. So if you if you if you 
allow yourself to make a hundred million dollars and you feel like you you're gonna be the CEO and you're gonna be the boss and and you, you you know you don't control your destiny then that's what you're gonna do cool if you're gonna work in the corporate world I suggest you don't get a face tag because I, I, I don't really see a lot of people hiring you. Okay, that's good advice. Yeah, I, I know I don't want to walk into an establishment or, you know, uh, dealing with financial people with my financial, with my finance, with someone with a tattoo on their face. I, I don't know. I might I might be high at my bank account. <laughs> like with I, a teardrop and all that. I yeah, mean, you know. yeah, I understand. So, in which your life, how do you how do you balance out your your private life and like also being like an entertainment business? Now, how do you give the advice to somebody else that's doing the same thing as you, like in the entertainment world? I think um um you just got create how you how I create balance is try to get um most of the things done while your kids is in school or. Uh, doing working hours from you know from maybe nine to five or you know as as or whatever time I can get it done and still make time to be able to uh, spend with y'all because I can't neglect my responsibilities. I still have to make sure that you know y'all attend school and and, and got the proper stuff y'all need to advance. You yeah. know. You you said more like about kids. I'm saying like your private life. Like what you mean? That's why like, I don't have a private life. My private life is 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 to work, come home, and and mm -hmm. and, and you know once in a while we get to take vacations. <laughs> um, yeah. But I don't have much of a private life. I got I got little kids. When you have little kids, mm -hmm. that takes away your private life, right? Yeah, you right. As soon as I leave y'all, I call my phone like a thousand times. Dad, 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 dad. Okay, but how about from the world? Like what the world doesn't see. What, what you mean? What they don't see? Like, cause you're on TV. So like, how do you deal with that? With like, not everybody in your business. I'm think about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm think about that. That's good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I be forgetting I'm on TV. Right. To me, I'm not on TV. I show up. I do the work, and I go back to what I had to do. So. I don't think about TV. Mm -hmm. I just think about it that day. Okay, I gotta go work that day. I gotta film that day. Okay, after film, we could go do this. I gotta do this and I gotta do that. I knock that out the way. Uh, so, what would you say is your biggest regret in life? My biggest regret? Yeah. I mean, I have a lot of them, right? But I could say that I learned from experience, right? And those experiences made me who I am today. So, mm -hmm. if I... Started to have regrets and, and, and didn't have them experience, I wouldn't be who I am today. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's, that's, do you think you have a lot? A lot what? Of regrets. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I do, but I don't, I'm not going to sit around and dwell on the regrets. I'm going to just take the, the lesson learned from the regrets mm -hmm. and move forward and push forward and, and learn not to make the mistakes over and over or again. Uh, okay, I got another question. What's up? How do you feel about a young a young boy like me having multiple girlfriends? Like, do you think that's appropriate? Or? I think um, I, I think that I think. What do you think I should be worried about that? I think I think that's something that you're gonna see, right? Mm -hmm. Which I don't have. It's, it's, it's gonna be a handful. I'm just asking a question. Right. I don't have multiple girlfriends. I think it's gonna be a handful. It's very time consuming, and it's going mm -hmm. and it's going to stress you out mm -hmm. more than it is gonna help you, right? Mm -hmm. And and one thing about it is, man, I could just tell you that it's just it's gonna be a headache, right? I see. It's I gonna see. be a headache. Yeah. It's gonna be a headache. So you wanna save yourself a headache. I think you either have no girlfriend or one girl. Mm -hmm. What do you think about having a girl like sleep over? 
Sleep over. Sleep over where? Here. You mean this house? Yeah. Oh, you gotta get out. No, I think that ain't no girls sleeping over this house. Why not? Because they're not. Like, why, why, why would you even ask me some stupid question like that? Like the sleepover, like we friends. Yeah, but when she wanna sleep in the living room? Yeah. And when you gonna sleep at? I might sleep in the living room next to them. No, we're not doing that. That's my daughter. Like, what am I telling you? She's sleeping in the house with my 17 year old. Okay. I respect it, King. Yeah, like, come on. You ain't doing that. I respect it. But, like, you, you can't have any sleeper, like, 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 build a fort. You know? Build a fort? Come on, 17 year olds don't build a fort. Now, you're talking about the little kids now. <laughs> hmm? No, we're we're no, we're gonna build a, a fort. Have a balloon fight, pillow fight. You know, have marshmallows, play basketball on a basketball court. You could, do, you could do that. Like, you could do that in the daytime. You don't have you to rush. You, you don't have to spend the night to do that. Like you, you being, you being an idiot now. Are like, you talking stupid and saying idiotic? So, no, no, no girl spend the night here, and no girl gonna be here after hours, okay. and no girl going in your room. Y'all going if you if you gonna bring a girl here, y'all gonna sit in the room where we can see y'all. All right. I see you can. Right. Um, how do you feel about young parenthood? How I feel about young parenthood? I mean, I feel like, you know, it, it comes with a lot of responsibility. Um, you, you, it's going to change your life, you know? I think that, you know, you got a whole life ahead of you. You got school, you got your dreams, you got stuff that you... You know, you might want to consider doing it and having a child going to slow you up. Mm -hmm. So the, if that's, you know, something that teenagers should think about is, you know, if you they can protect themselves, protect themselves. I mean, I, I waited till I was 27 to have my first kid. Mm -hmm. Right? Intentionally. Mm -hmm. Right? I wanted to wait until I was ready. So, you know, um... I protect myself until I was ready. Twenty seven is, you know, that's 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 up there. Yeah, I can imagine being a young parent. Like that'd be crazy. I definitely wouldn't want to be a, yeah. a young parent. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't know what to do. Hey, I took a deep breath. I looked at my friends. I was like, it's about to go down. Oh my fault. Excuse me, Dad. My friend called me. Yo, what's up? I'm uh, recording a YouTube video. Is it important? I gotta tell you something. Who is it? I'm chilling. I'm not doing nothing. Bro, remember the rest like three months ago? Wait, I, I can't hear you. What? Remember like three months ago? Uh, yeah. When were you hanging up? Yeah, I've been sick every morning since then. Thank you.